calling the toads. <laughs> calling the toads, calling the toads, we shall come rejoicing, calling the toads. One step out the door, off the step, going down, swinging in a peyote, amphetamine, benzedrine dream. I'm five years old. I am the messenger, holding William Burroughs, Bill Burroughs, old bully's hand, holding Bill's hand on some lonely, godforsaken, upper middle class St. Louis street. And we're humming, we're humming, we're humming in tones, we're humming in tones, calling the toads. Oh yeah, we're calling the toads. Bill's eyes twinkling, glittering, a devilish grin, cracking the corners of his mouth, and I'm looking him right smack in the eyes, deep in the eyes. I'm reading... His heroine heart, yes, I'm reading his old heart, but it ain't the story I expected as we move this way and that, raising and lowering our heads, our voices, calling the toads, and here they come, marching high and low from under the steps, from under the shrooms, from the front yard, from round the corner of the house, falling from the trees, raining down, here come the toads, all sizes and shapes, all swinging and swaying and dancing that magic burl's beat, yes, here come the toads, singing and swaying and swinging their hips, now standing all round us, hundreds, thousands of toads, eyes bulging, tongue sticking out hard, dancing a strange, happy, vulgar rhythm dance for Burles and me. Yes, Burles, yes, Burles, yes, Burles, I see his heart, and I know his secret, a secret no one has discovered till now, but I'll never tell, never reveal as I witness this sacred scene, this holy ceremony, this gathering, this universal song and dance I witness through the eyes, the heart of William S. Burles, King of the Toads. Calling the toads, calling the toads, we shall come rejoicing, calling the toads. Mm -hmm.